All right, guys, this is a video on how to set up your Nexus Root Toolkit version 1.5.2. This is for the Nexus 7. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this right here, and we're going to go. This is your install file, and this is your actual application. So we're going to go into the application, and we hit yes. All right, and then here's your application. So now we're going to make sure we're right on the right uh, model here, your model type. And we are going to select our model. So I will show you, here's the model I'm on. I'll show you where you can find that on your, on your tablet. So we're going to look at the tablet. And we're going to go into settings. And go to about phone. Or about, yeah, about there about tablet should say and then your build number and then you're gonna select the right one for your build number so we are on uh, Android version uh, 4.1.1 so we're gonna select that one right there and hit apply okay so now we've got that on the screen well we've, once we've got that set up we're gonna go in here to full driver install guide so initial setup so we're gonna click on this which then opens up this window. All right. So now that we've got this, we're going to go through the steps. Um, so there's an automatic process, but you still have to do step one. So the first thing we want to do is um, we're going to go in here and we're going to launch the USB to view. Um, and we're going to look for these drivers and uninstall them if they're on here. So if you've ever connected your tablet to your PC, they're going to be on there, but they're not going to be installed correctly. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do this. So launch this up and we're going to try to uninstall all of our drivers. Alright, so you can see all of these drivers right through here. So we're going to hit control and then we're going to highlight them all. We don't want, we don't want that one highlighted. So highlight, 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 highlight. And then we're going to go down and see if we have any Samsung drivers in here, which we might. Doesn't look like we do. Okay. So those are our drivers. And then we're going to right click and uninstall selected drivers. Do you want to uninstall? Say, hit yes. So once the drivers are uninstalled, we can move on to the automatic configuration tool, um, which actually did not work for me, but it, it might work for you, so we're going to run through it, and then I'll go through the manual uh, way of doing it also. All right, so there we go. Those are uh, uninstalled, so we can hit this. So next step in this is to go ahead and hit this right here, which is automatic driver configuration, Windows 7. So we're going to launch that. Alright, this script will attempt to automatically configure your drivers for you. Um, so um, it'll tell you when to plug in your device. It'll do all those things. The first thing it does is it downloads the drivers. I already have them, but it'll do it auto automatically for you. So we're going to hit OK. So attempting to install drivers. So if you haven't, uh, if it hasn't been downloaded, it'll take longer than this, but. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the phone and hit this USB debugging. So on 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 the I should say the tablet here, um, we're going to go into settings, developer options, and then right here USB debugging, and then you want to make sure that it is checked, which mine is. So USB debugging is enabled on here. So now that you've got that done, um, the next thing you can do is uh, after you plugged in wait a bit so we have to plug in now and it's going to try to install all the drivers so we will do that plug in so it's connected now Windows is going to try to install my drivers for me which is right here alright so I got two of them installed correctly three of them they're all installed correctly beautiful alright so we can close this window we can close this window and then we'll push OK now 
uh, check device. Now it's rebooting device into bootloader, which you're going to see here. All right. Now that you have successfully configured your drivers and your device is in its on state, configure them by some bootloader mode. Fully hope your computer all may configure devices, A to B. You can check your device processes, blah, blah. When you think you're ready, press the OK to connect, um, to initialize fast boot connectivity check. So we're, you can see what it looks like on the tablet. And uh, we're going to go into a fast boot here and we'll check that. So OK, so it's checking fast boot. Um, so let's let it go through these steps. Fast boot looks like it checked that OK. All right. Configuration your drivers is successfully configured. Now it's rebooting your device. So, as you can see, I'm actually already unlocked down here in the bottom. But you don't have to be to do this configuration. So it's waiting for my device to boot back up. And basically that will be the automatic configuration. So once we uh, do that, that's, that's you're, you're pretty much set up. Let's see what this let this boot back up. You'll be completely set up to run um, the application. So this should should finish up here. All right. All right. There you go. You passed the driver configuration test. You are good to go. Press OK to exit script. All right. We can close this window out. And now we're uh, able to run all the things we need to run in here, like unlocking it, rooting it. Um, flashing stock, everything is set up. Your your drivers and your device is configured to allow all these utilities to work now. So that is the automatic uh, driver configuration setup process. Thanks, guys. We're gonna do a manual configuration video next.